wrong feeling It's like I'm scared of the truth These days are numbered and there's no changing miles of Joshua Tree National Park coming in on the lower part in the Colorado desert there is not much to see and then suddenly you arrive in a huge valley of a really nice uh, Chala cactus there are just thousands of them and I'm wondering where they suddenly come from <laughs> but it's really nice scenery here the Mojave Desert is much more interesting than the lower Colorado Desert uh, within the park of Joshua Tree. It's not only the Joshua Tree itself which can be found more often uh, on higher altitudes here. Also these rock formations are really impressive and big boulders wherever you look. This was actually a really nice day in uh, Joshua National Park. It was our first national park in the States and we are so far already very impressed. A great day to spend the first day. Cheers! Well, that was a little bit too much impression for one day. We've had a really nice drive through the Joshua Tree National Park. I uh, yeah, wanted to search for a nice uh, campground somewhere in the forest. And as Cleveland State Forest was such a nice forest, we had a look at the map and thought, yeah, San Bernardino, that looks good. Let's go there near Bear Lake, uh, must be a nice place. Only a short detour and here we are on almost 7,000 feet. <laughs> Didn't quite expect that because uh, they are actually skiing up here. <laughs> That's not really what we've planned. Seeing desert and snow in one day is a little bit of too much impression for my sortiest first day. Almost something like that. But in the end, we still found a nice place. Hopefully we can stay here and don't get a shoot away. We are doing our first sport lesson in the US. Normally this trail is not for hikers, not for runners. It's for... Playground for the Americans. <laughs> it's for off-road vehicles. But yeah. 
you really enjoy the hike, the run, whatever. Let's go on this way, but it's incredible how many of these trails you can find all over California. Americans are playing everywhere with motorcycles, uh, buggies, and yeah, we are the Swiss. Sorry, we are running. Can you spot Sandro back there <laughs> in the desert? Yeah, we are back on our way into the desert and not just some desert. No, we are heading towards Death Valley. After our short detour through the mountains and forests of uh, California, we are back in the lowlands and will soon be arriving in the Death Valley. The biggest national park in the lower states. I think a nice experience. It's known for its extremes, so it's the hottest and driest place in all of uh, North America. And it's also um, the lowest place in all of Northern America. So there are some areas which are actually 90 meters below sea level. It's early April, so I think we're still fine because of the temperatures. It will be hot, but not deadly hot. So uh, we will see. Pushing my emotions, all these pictures in my head have got a reason not to tell you. I will let you guess instead. Seeing light in your eyes and the sun in your smile. Let's just sit and talk for a while Seeing colors and flowers on the edge And I try to catch myself but I'm too far ahead now Can you break? Is it safe? Can you hold? I think that's the reason why it's called Death Valley. You can feel the dry, hot air and it's not a nice feeling to have it. But it's nice to see once in a lifetime and uh, my watch shows me 63 meters below sea level. It means around 180 feet and that's the check if it's really salty or not. Yeah, it is. Nice experience. And this landscape is just unreal. You can see for miles and there is just nothing. It's just hot. I think it's around 45 degrees and uh, yeah, I'm getting thirsty. The best thing would be a beer. But we don't have any in the fridge. Again, a problem. Or maybe there is one left. We will see. Can you wait? Can you stay? Can you stop talking this way? Can you break? Is it safe? Can you hold? All these pieces that are long gone Leaving memories that are so strong
After a really long day of driving and sightseeing as well, we have found this really nice camp spot in the middle of Death Valley. We have driven around 300 miles today and maybe like 150 within the Valley National Park. Yes, it's a really huge park and we only did like a third of it so far. The rest will be tomorrow. We are glad that we are able to camp here legally um, somewhere in the nature. For us it was a little surprising because normally in national parks in the States um, you can't camp somewhere. You have to go on a campground. We enjoy it much more and we will hopefully have a really nice sunset. So breathe. Good morning! We are still in the Death Valley and we feel death because we couldn't sleep. <laughs> it was all night long windy. It would be the perfect place for kite surfing. Uh, Megaloop! Megaloop! <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a really stormy night. I'm glad we didn't have to sleep in a roof tent uh, because Whaley was actually shaking and it was not nice but this morning we have seen one of the most spectacular sunrises. It's really not just the sunrise, it's the, when the sun is rising and giving the mountain range its uh, beautiful colors. It's really a breathtaking view. Much nicer than the sunset yesterday actually. Yeah, with over 37 degrees you cannot do much in this park. So that's why we are slowly heading out, having a look at the visitor center and then um, go somewhere else where it's a little colder and less windier. of the most important borax mines here in the Death Valley. We are back on the road and slowly heading out, out of the park. These mines were really important back then and it's crazy how far and with uh, what resources they had to carry all the minerals out of the park. It's over 120 miles out of the desert. Must have been a really tough job. We made it! We drove through this valley and we survived. And also Whaley survived. It was hard work the last two days, especially now driving up from the valley um, in one single section up to Town Pass, which is on almost 5,000 feet. It was a really nice national park and I am glad we came in from the east side and driving westwards. But it's a long way. Take a lot of time with you and don't forget to fuel up because fuel is really expensive in the desert. Three dollars more per gallon than uh, normally. Eight dollar fifty. Ouch. Now we are headed towards 395. That's the road everybody is telling us. That's the one you have to take driving north. So that's exactly what we're going to do and uh, yeah. Somewhere on the road. With the mountain, where your bones are the earth, and they sing. With the mountain, your bones are the earth, and they sing. With the mountain, where your bones are the earth, and they sing. With the mountain, why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world 
say, why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world in Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world yeah, inside? Your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Well, your mind is a space that creates the horizon.